family standing in the wind discussing today living in Costa Rica on a visa tourist and how to extend it February March 2021 with the land borders to Panama and Nicaragua closed. I'm going to share my best advice uh, out of first hand of someone who's living in Costa Rica that's myself. Um, I'm standing on the ferry, it's super windy, so I'm gonna make it fast, the fast video. Uh, before I'm gonna dive in and share exactly, um, uh, you know, my best tip about how to extend your tourist visa right now in the current situation in COVID, uh, borders closed, uh, travel restrictions, etc., etc. Uh, I'm inviting you to subscribe to my channel. You can do that below with that little square icon that you see on the screen and hit the bell icon to get a notification every time I upload a new video that might help you learn all the information you're looking for about living in Costa Rica, moving to Costa Rica and related information. I moved to Costa Rica in 2018 and my channel is all about sharing what I've learned so far, helping you to prevent make the same mistakes I made and basically to teach you everything I've learned myself and uh, yeah, it's my pleasure serving you this way. So, right now it is February 2021 and March 2, uh, all the, the tourist visa should be extended if you're planning to stay longer than 90 days. So we're looking back at a long period of uh, extended tourist visa, more or less a year. Um, we couldn't do any border runs and the Costa Rica government had extended the, the visa until March 2, 2021. Now, everyone who is um, waiting for their residency or people uh, unable to apply for residency, it's a fact well known that a lot of people live long term on a tourist visa and just do a visa or also called border run to leave the country and re-enter the country uh, preferred in the same day at the same day now with the land borders closed of Nicaragua and Panama um, everyone is more challenged so if that's you and you're wondering what's the best way to extend my tourist visa uh, to, to have an extension of 90 days again here's my best advice and this is what I see everyone doing uh, who is living here in my area on Santa Teresa uh, they fly to Mexico City from Costa Rica that's more or less 200 bucks why Mexico City because they do not require a COVID test and when re-entering Costa Rica Costa Rica doesn't require a COVID test so that's gonna save you lots of hustle and lots of money on COVID tests and it's a pretty easy way to re-enter uh, Costa Rica and um, and to extend your tourist visa. Uh, if you're smart, you make it into a small holiday, but I also know people, they just uh, fly with the whole family, four people, like two adults and two children, and they fly back into Costa Rica 12 hours later. They just see it as a long uh, back and forth flight and uh, have it done, have their passport stamped for the next 90 days. Um, perhaps you wonder why are you, aren't you doing a visa run right now that way well let me share it with you that we are applying for residency but that doesn't set us free uh, we still have to do a border one and we will do uh, because our tourists uh, our driver's license are not valid uh, with the letter that says yeah you're waiting for application uh, for residency uh, so basically you do not have to do a visa run but your driver's license is not valid anymore because a driver's license is valid uh, when you're from another country in combination with the tourist visa so I'm gonna keep you updated about this uh, visa tourist uh, visa run order one to Mexico City because we're gonna do it at least one of us is going to do it around the beginning of March and I'm going to keep you updated about it so for now, best option, if you are in Costa Rica and you want to stay longer and you don't have a residency and are not able to apply for one, then fly.
Fly to Mexico City is my best advice. It's what lots of people are doing and it seems to be the best option for now. Of course, keep yourself updated about changing rules, changing regulations because it's changing all the time. But for this point, I believe it's your best and way cheapest possible. I hope you can benefit from my video. Um, I'm traveling right now to San Jose and to visit a friend and then travel to Manuel Antonio because I will be uh, speaking at a private event in Manuel Antonio about the 17 things I wish I'd known before I moved to Costa Rica. How cool is that, right? So I will keep you posted about that as well. And uh, for now, I want to thank you for watching my video. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet and if you want to know how I'm able to live in Costa Rica it is thanks to my online business and what it actually is that I do go to the description below check out all the information click on some links learn more and let's connect looking forward to seeing you in my next video bye for now pura vida